Okay. Right, yeah, I'm just with you with Ryan, my mate, yeah. He's a Scotch guard and he's gonna take us on a tab. Like a, it's a tactical advance to battle. Anyway, I've got my Bergen on the back. My uh, Cyclops. Bergo Cyclops. <laughs> It's there, uh, they haven't weighed it, like we both picked it up, like it's, it's our 20k, put the 25k weight. And then what I'm going to do, I haven't done this for about three years, so I'm going to put myself through a little test. It's only a four miler, it should be easy really for me, but um, I'm gonna, just going to see how I go, do a four mile tab there and back with this weight on my back, and um, I'll just see how, how I hold up, like you know. I'm 47 in a couple of months, like, so I just want to <laughs> see how I kick this, yeah, like sort of. Not the suit like sort of thing, you know, so here we go. Raymond's timing. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Might have to knock this off. <laughs> I'll put this in real time. Is it fair, yet? Yeah. Here the, here's a little bit here. Mine's set off like he's a good pace and uh, he's just putting us to it and he's not showing any uh, leniency. <laughs> but I'm starting to settle in now. You'll be alright. I'm starting to warm up, heat up. Just coming up the first mile part. Got a bit of a sweat on. Too much wine last night. <laughs> but uh, we're getting there. Once we get the stone bridge down here, it'll be, I think it's roughly about 1.2 mile. I haven't measured all this area before, but we're going okay. Let's carry on. Want to see the world up? Alright, so Ian's at his, uh, just past his mile and a half point now. Almost at the two mile point, he's starting to break in. Uh, as you can see, he still doesn't look very happy. <laughs> So we're going to speed up the pace now and break into a bit of a run. You ready? You ready? On me. Alright guys, so Ian's coming up to his two mile point now, he's not too far away. He's there, uh, he's doing alright. How do you feel? Probably. Right. Ah, he's feeling alright. A bit sweaty though for the wine. There we go. <laughs> but uh, we're going to break into a bit of a run now, stretch off the legs. You ready? Right, ready. Stick with me mate, come on. So as you can see, he's nearly dead now. <laughs> now he's doing not too bad. He's doing all right. We're just hitting the two mile point now. These, comes, these boots are still comfortable, eh? A couple of years old. All right, guys, so as you can see, Ian's stretching off over there. Uh, so that's his two mile point now. And he's actually done it in really good time. He's doing 11 minute miles. He got in just before 22 minutes for the two miles itself. Uh, so he's got a couple of minutes just to stretch off a little bit and straight back into it because we were looking at doing 15 minute miles obviously pace is a bit quicker and uh, he's got here a bit faster so he's ready to set off now and we'll see he's on the go he's hanging Alright guys, so we've just got back to the vehicle now and uh, Ian's just doing a bit of stretching off which fair dues because he absolutely smashed that there he was doing 11 minute miles, 4 miles um, because he went so fast at the beginning he had an 8 minute sort of interval in the middle where he could stretch off and take his Bergen off, that sort of thing but he really did go quick there um, I know there's a lot of people I know that couldn't keep up with him um, obviously like everybody who's starting to feel it at the end but that's great because he's stretching off now and he's done the quicker he gets in. That's the first tab I've done for four years. Yeah, <laughs> first tab he's done for four years. And he got, got around that pretty quick. Whoa. 
Tell him, please, don't tell him. <laughs> right, I've just been around the tab there with Ryan here. I'm just getting changed. And there, uh, I've just turned up doing a minute, Ryan. Well, I've just, uh, I've just getting myself stretched off and everything there. And uh, that's the first tab I've done since 2013, actually. And uh, it's been alright. It was alright. I'll tell you what it is, I was not feeling it come back up because when you did that tab, it was only four miler. And uh, it was a quick pace going down. But when I turned one, you start to come back up. It's on a slight incline coming up. And you don't realise how much of an incline it is unless you're on something like a bicycle. If you start yourself off pedalling down there, you can practically free wheel it all the way down. Sorry, I'm burping away here. And what happens is, um, it's like a two mile stretch, it's it's just like a two mile straight line and basically um, it's an old dilly line. And the incline is that long, you know, you, you know what I mean? You just don't see how much of an incline it is, but uh, if you run it, you'll see what I mean. It's not it's not massive, but it's just like a long, slow, tedious climb back, you know. But uh, I'm quite happy. And uh, it was meant to be a bit of a light run. I was just going to go for a quick tab and just to see how my muscles and my body held up. Like, it's doing quite well, actually. I'm, I'm surprised, like. But uh, Ryan, Todd didn't show us any mercy, did he? <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> he enjoyed it there, you know. No, but I'm quite pleased with it. Yeah, uh, quite happy with that. That's what we got to do. Second phase bug out. <laughs> so, if you're on, obviously everybody knows that you can be an amazing bushcrafter. You can be amazing at all your survival skills and have all the gear in the world. If you can't carry it, and you're a bit of a fat cunt, excuse my language, but it's true. <laughs> if you can't carry a kit and you can't get out there, what's the point in prepping? Because you're not going to make it to your prep out bug out location or wherever you think you're going to survive you're not going to make it there so you need to it's a very base standard level of fitness and everybody can achieve it it's just being able to push yourself there and 90 percent of it's in your head and um, but ian done really well there and obviously i wasn't carrying kit so i i breezed it but <laughs> that's the thing with without kit on you can go and run every day to work and back and you can feel fine and think that you're healthy and fit but you stick 25 kilos on your back and it's bouncing around and you're trying to cover that ground as fast as you can and that's the standard you need to be at there. What he did as well on the way back when I was really hanging, I was starting to hang a bit there. Like he said, "Are oh, your legs burning?" No, I said, "I oh, says right, oh, and <laughs> double time will double up." I was like, "Oh, you're joking, aren't you?" So anyway, he started doubling away, and I did the same. But it's like that, like that's the way it is, you know. You've got to be able to, you've got to be able to go, like. And I was there, uh, I was kind of losing it in my head a little bit, like, but I managed to pull it back. I did pull it back, didn't I? Yeah, great I time. I managed to pull it back, like, and uh, the 47. That was a great stop time. bitching about it. <laughs> but like Ryan was saying earlier, if you're not complaining, you're not enjoying it. <laughs> it's the ones who were standing quiet. They're the ones who weren't enjoying it. The ones who love it are the ones complaining. <laughs> if you've got enough breath to complain, yeah, you've got enough. <laughs> you've got enough breath to carry on. Yeah, I yeah, enjoyed it actually. No, it's done. Like I'm, I'm happy now. I feel better after that. I think I'll do another one in a couple of weeks. In fact, he's got a couple of weeks off actually. Like I might go and do a bit of happily, bit of extra tabbing with him, like you know. He's there, uh, but not bad for somebody who's only a month away of two months from his 47th birthday, I think. <laughs> and somebody who hasn't done it for four years anyway. Anyway, that's that done. That's part of me fitness training for the for the old prepping. Catch you later. So what I'll say now is my name's Ian Cotter. This is Hikers Hall Survival. Till next time. Stay safe.